<laughs> Hello children, welcome to the Kids Top 5 to show. My name is Sheila. Yes. I'm always excited to be part of you every Saturday to serve you. Yes. And to serve you for the glory of God. Mhm. Mm so children, how have you been today? Have you read your Bible? Have you prayed call this week? How has your week been? I really want to know how how is school doing? Are you reading your books? Are things exciting at school? I hope they are. Anyway, straight to the point. This week you're going to be dealing with dishonesty and its consequences. And we have a guest of course that is going to be teaching us and we have a teacher that is going to be taking us through some of the lessons. I can't wait for you to see the amazing pieces we gathered for you to watch this week. See you in the next segment. Bye for now.
praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good and that is nature. Wow. My name is Francis. You're most welcome to Kids 252 that takes place on Google Day TV at 9 a.m. Please, all those ones who are out there, you're welcome to join us together. Please, always every Saturday, make sure you tune to Google Day TV at 9 a.m. on Saturday. So we've been going through a series of values. By the way, I want to ask first of all, what are values? Values are extenders of right, wrong, good and bad. Very good. So, last time you talked about honesty, not so? Yes. So today, we also have another value that we are going to look at, and that value is right here. I will always tell the truth. Can we repeat it all together? I will always tell the truth. Thank you so much. I will always tell the truth. And that is what God desires. But before we begin... I want to tell you that always for us, we need to tame our tongues, isn't it? Yes. If you are to tell the truth, you need to tame your tongue. We want to check ourselves with the tongue twister right here. And you're going to read with me this tongue twister. She sells, she shells on the shell. Aha, uh-huh, read again. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. Now, I want us to do it. I want us to do it a little bit faster. She sells seashells on the seashore. Uh huh. Faster than that again. She sells seashells on the seashore. Even those ones who are out there, please join us, all of us together, faster. She sells seashells on the seashell. Aha. You see, some of us were able to tame our tongues, and somewhere it was a little bit tough, but we thank God. We, he can make us to tame our tongues. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's repeat our value for today. I will always tell the truth. I will always tell the truth. Truth. So last time we looked, you looked at another commandment. Yes. So even today, we are going to look at this ninth commandment. The other one was the eighth, not so? Yes. So, ours today is the ninth commandment. Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. It says, It says, You you must must not lie. lie. You You must must not lie. lie. Let's repeat it together. You You must must not not lie. lie. That is the instruction from God. And remember, Our value promise is, I will always tell the truth, truth, which means you say no to telling lies. lies. So we always see that this honesty has a lot of consequences, and that is our topic of today. This honesty has serious consequences. This honesty has serious consequences. You find that always when we tell a lie, when we lie, when we sin before God, God punishes us. Remember the gift of sin is death that the devil brings. By the way, 
death comes when we sin before God. God. Praise the Lord. Amen. This honesty has serious consequences. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we need to get, first of all, our Bible and see a couple who decided to lie before God. And this comes from the book of Acts chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. It tells us about a couple called Ananias and Sapphira. Do we see this couple? Yes. What do you see on the picture? People and money. One day, this couple was in church and the apostles were there. Now, the people were sharing their things. Now, he came up and told the apostles, he promised that I'm also going to sell my property and was very happy. And all the money I'm going to bring to the temple. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, he went with his wife as we see them in this picture yes. after selling their property. Now, the money was much. Money was much. You see, money... If it is much, there is a way it touches your heart. Even us in our homes, if you see mommy's money, you can get touched and say, Oh, let me pick two coins. Oh my God. God is seeing you even if you're in your room. God sees. So Ananias and Sapphira, after selling their property, do you know what happened? They saw when the money was what? Much. Was much. And what did they do? They picked some, yes. they picked some money. They picked some money and said, no, we can't take all this money. Let's pick some of it. And they kept. But Ananias was the first to go to church was the first person to go. I think Safira was delaying at home. He said, let me first go. And this man went. And before Peter, he brought the money. But because Peter loved God, Peter knew what this man had done already because the spirit of God was with him. He asked him, Ananias, are you sure this is the only money? What did he say? Yes. He said, yes. With boldness, was this man truthful? No. He wasn't truthful at all. Peter said, you have not lied to men, but you have lied to the spirit of God. God. And you have lied to God himself. So when we tell a lie, God hates a lie. Praise the Lord. Amen. God hates a lie. Can we tell ourselves God, God hates, hates a lie? As we see in Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. You must not lie. Some minutes later, some time passed by, and Safra also came. She had, I think, when I think about her, she must have been very smart, and she came to church like we are smart today. Yes. My friend, Safira came and 
also they asked her, Yes, please. Is this the money that you sold the land? With that you sold the property and is it the real money? She also said, Yes. Yes. Remember what happened to Ananias at that time when the when Peter said that thing, he, he he fell down and what? He died, he died and people had carried him out. But Safira also didn't know what had happened. Yes. She came in, they asked her, she also told what? Yes. A lie. And she said yes. Was she truthful? No. No. They told her, do you see the feet that carried your husband will also carry you? She also fell down, my friend. Fell down and died. And they carried her also to bury. Do you see the consequence of sin? Yes. yes. The consequence of sin is what? Death. So these two people met their consequence. They died because they chose to tell lie. a lie. My friend, telling the truth is not easy, but we need always to pray to God to give us the grace to tell the truth. We see people out there, even at home, even when they are on phones, they tell a lie. They say, oh, I'm just at this point when they are not there. They are telling lies even on phone. You ask them, they tell you something which is totally a lie. Even adults like us, the Bible hates a lie, not only to us children, but even us, the adults. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. All the time. Let's tell ourselves, I will always tell the truth. I will always tell the truth. I will always tell the truth. truth. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, now, if we tell the truth, we please God. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is what God wants us to do. What does Exodus say? You Exodus 20, 16. Lie. You must not lie. lie. Thank you so much. So we are going to remind ourselves about our song of honesty before we pray so that God will give us the grace to tell the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to repeat our song about honesty. Honest. I will be honest. I will not cheat or steal. Always tell the truth. I will be honest. Even if it's hard, I will be honest. I will not mean to when I'm wrong. I will be honest. I will not cheat or steal, or else tell the truth, I will be honest. Honesty! Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for that wonderful singing. We thank so much Scripture Union Uganda for composing that song. Thank you so much. Now, let's pray so that God gives us the grace to tell the truth always. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this day. We give you glory and honor. We pray that God, you come and convict our hearts to tell the truth always, O King of glory. It is not easy, but when we have you in our hearts, we shall overcome that temptation of God. Father, may you help us 
always to speak the truth. Even our little children who are out there, we pray that they will always tell the truth. Even adults of God, like me and others out there, God help us always in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for being with us together. May God bless you so much. Please, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do you tell lies? I hope not. Sing and see what Tommy did. Tommy broke the oh, cookie jar. Tommy broke the cookie jar, then blamed his brother, then blamed his brother. I didn't break the cookie jar. I didn't break the cookie jar. You tell me. It's not nice to tell lies You'll be called a liar You'll be called a liar Don't make it a habit Don't make it a habit Or you will repent Or you will repent Always tell the truth Always tell the truth And say you're sorry And say you're sorry You'll be happy you said so You'll be happy you said so And make many friends Tommy did? Isn't he naughty? Always tell the truth and say you're sorry rather than be called a liar. Hello children, welcome to the Kids 252 show. My name is Sheena and I'm always excited to have you children watching the talk shows. You know the talk shows are always here to equip your brains with wisdom, knowledge and all the things you don't know. So, um, like I told you from the start, this week we're going to be dealing with dishonesty and its consequences. And we have a special guest in the house who's going to introduce herself to us. And then we start off with our show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Masi Hachan. Where are you from? <laughs> you speak like a North Korean. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Gaba, here in Kampala. Oh, Gaba is in Kampala? Of course. Kampala of Ghana, Kampala of South Africa, or Kampala? Of Uganda. Oh my God, <laughs> you sound so nice. I'm so excited to have you, Masi. <clears throat> so, Masi, so this week we're going to be dealing with dishonesty mm -hmm. and its consequences. So, I'm going to start off with asking you, what is dishonesty? Dishonesty is telling lies, mm. simply mm. telling lies about something, about anything. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's true. Dishonesty is actually telling lies about something yeah. or falsely. It's like it's like, it's like a false statement yes. that is not existing, but it's created. Yes. So what causes dishonesty among us children? Um, sometimes you want to fit in your friends. Mm. So they tell you, go do this, go do this. Mm. If they ask you, mm. say this mm. and then everything will be OK. okay. So. When you want to fit in your friends, mm. you're like, ah, oh, let me do what they're telling me to do. Let but me then, lie. Mm. Yeah, but then that's not right. Okay. And then the other times, we are scared. Mm. You don't want mommy to beat you. You don't want daddy to get mad. Mm. So if you poured sugar, mm. you're like, no, it wasn't me. It was the It rat. was, yeah. <laughs> and the, does the rat pour sugar? I then mommy's like, Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. It must have been you. Okay. Because you are home. Mm. And then your sisters are playing outside. So you're like... Okay, thank you so yeah. much, Masi. Can okay. you can you kindly share with us some of the examples of dishonesty? Um, dishonesty. <clears throat> um, you can lie about your friend mm -hmm. in case you are at school. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, you didn't do your homework, mm. so you'll be dishonest to be like, teacher, I did my homework. And then when teacher checks your book, you didn't do your homework. And that's very, very bad. That's very, very bad. Very, very bad. Mm. And then at home, there are times you fail to do housework. Mm. Probably you are watching TV and then there's this show, there's mm. this cartoon you like so most sometimes. Mm. Uh, my brothers like watching 
teen titans mm. so they sit and then they forget to do housework and then when you ask them <laughs> did you wash your utensils they're like yes 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 mm -hmm. and then when you check the sink it's it's Full of dirty utensils yeah dirty mm. utensils they are dirty cups and then you're like hmm these boys are being dishonest <laughs> yeah okay so um i'll give you an example of a dishonest person i have uh -huh. my nephew he's called glenn <laughs> so glenn is very stubborn and he hates to do chores oh so one time they told him go wash dishes he went he was very angry he was even crying oh so in the process of being angry and aggressive he broke a glass oh my god so when he broke a glass the dad kept asking him who broke the glass then it's not me it's the rat <laughs> where, did the, where had the rat come from at that material time oh in my, my mind god. i was like hey, this boy is very dishonest yeah <laughs> so can you kindly share with us some of the consequences of dishonesty um the first thing you mm. know we children should have a good relationship with God. Mm. We should relate well, like you relate with mommy and daddy. Yeah. So God will get angry at you. Mm. You will be mad Very. because you've lied mm. and God doesn't like people who lie. Mm. So he'll be mad at you. Mm. He won't be happy. Of course. And you know, when you make God angry, it's very, very bad. It is. It's very, very bad. But because he loves us, yeah. he forgives you. Yes. And eventually, when he forgives you, you yeah. have to go and tell the truth. Yes, you have to. Yes, However you have to tell the is. truth. And then, um, when you're dishonest, you know, I love being with good friends. Mm. If you lie to your friend that mm. you did something and yet you didn't do it, your friend will get mad at you. Mm. Real, real mad. Mm. And then they'll be like, we won't play with you anymore. Mm. We won't do housework with you. We because won't do you're homework. Dishonest. Yes, mm -hmm. and then you'll have to do homework on your own mm. with no help. Mm. Yeah, that's. Uh, Let me ask you something. Yeah. Have you encountered a part? I mean, a part in your life where you've been dishonest? Yes. Share uh, with us. Yes, so many. Mm. I'll we give want. You... We want like five at least. Oh, Don't you five. Think children. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'll tell you about me when I was dishonest at home. Mm. Um, growing up, I loved watching soaps, I loved watching series. Busabuni. Yeah, those Indian series. Eh? <laughs> 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 <I don't know. laughs> <Not thing>. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's this series that used to be on TV at midday. So mm. my mom had told me, go mop the house mm. and then you sweep the compound a little so it looks so neat. I hope it's not um, your turn. Ah, <laughs> not your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. um, so mm. it reached um, midday mm -hmm. and then I'm like, oh my God, I can't Catch miss this soap. soap. I can't miss it. Mm. So I sit in the couch and then sit watch the soap mm. and then mom comes back mm. so i start rushing <laughs> she's like mercy did you move the house i had swept a little mm. then i'm like yes mommy i moved the house okay. it looks clean mm. everything is organized mm. though there were clothes on the chair mm. so she's like if you really clean the house why are clothes on the chair mm. and then i'm like um I must have forgotten to get them out. Mm. Ah, seriously? And why is the floor stained? Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, ah, mommy. Mm. I think, <laughs> I think, I think my brother dirtied it. Mm. So I was accusing my brother of dirtying the floor. And yet my because brother... Because they are very stubborn. Eh? Yeah. Mm. And yet my brother is playing outside. Mm. So my mom asks my brother, did you stain the floor? Which of the two? Ah, uh, Mark. <laughs> she asks Mark. Did you stay mm. in the floor? And then Mark is like, no, I was I'm outside playing. playing. Mm. Mm. I was actually playing with my gun. Mm. So my, my mom is like real mad, mm. you know. She had to, to mm. beat me a little. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she beat me. How did you feel? Oh, I was so heartbroken, okay. so heartbroken. But then I discovered I shouldn't have lied to her. Yeah. Because if I had told her the truth, mm. then Probably, I wouldn't have gotten strokes on my butt. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone through all that lying. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what what word of encouragement would you give out to the kids that are so dishonest to the society at mm -hmm. church, at school? Kogamba, for you, dishonest is part of your <laughs> DNA. Eh? Uh, what kind of advice can you give such a child? They are there. You mean they are not uh, there? Uh, let me tell you one thing. Mm. We are all good, mm. but then there are certain circumstances that push us to do bad. Yeah. But then what I would tell you there, mm. you who's out there, na gogamba ha, zokuli manga kundiko, te kusola kuduka, te kusola genda, zeka kugambe. We can all tell the truth. What you do, open up your heart okay. to your parent, to okay. your guardian, to your mm. friends. Mm. If you do something, mm. you should own it, okay? Mm. Don't say, the other one did it or this one did it. Just own up to your mistake and then probably there will be some consequences. But yeah. it won't be so bad like yeah, it like would when you, about when you it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Mercy. Um, join. I hope you've learned something. Mm -hmm. We started from dishonesty, and you say dishonesty is basically telling lies. Yeah. And then you talked about the different causes of dishonesty, pretending to be what you're not, or when you want to get something, mm -hmm. or when you want people to view in a certain way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we talked about the consequences of dishonesty. Then we saw mistrust. Yeah? You, you lose love and favor from the people that love you, and that is very bad and dangerous. And then she gave you a piece of advice that you should always be comfortable however tough the situation may get. If it's pushing you to dishonesty, you should disown it as well. And put yourself in the position where you're supposed to be 100% honest mm -hmm. because it, it, it sets your heart at peace. Yes. That's number one. Then number two, you, you create friendship. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Then number three, uh, one thing I know about honest people, they are loved. Yeah. They are so much loved like and they are favored. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because people <laughs> always confide in you for that kind of personality you build. Yeah. It's very hard to build, but I think you can build it with time and be that better person you have to be. Yes. Thank you so much, Mercy, for sharing with us. My pleasure. We are pleasure. so happy. <laughs> and uh, we are signing out and we're going to say bye to the children. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>
Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed everything we had to share with you today from the first segment to the last segment, which is now. And I hope you've learned so many things, not even something, because this uh, these different weeks to to be many, many more for your own understanding and good. And I hope that um, it's exciting for you as it is for me. I'm always excited to be in your presence. And I hope that the Lord uses you for the purpose that he created you for. I speak wisdom and favor upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. So as I sign out, children, I want to uh, send shout out to everyone that is watching the show. Thank you so much, my team, Gaba Community Church. I want to spend... I want to send special shouts out to Pastor Peter Kasirivu. May God bless you for the great ministry you have built and uh, the different people you've trained. And uh, without wasting any more time, bye Emma. May God bless you. Bye everyone.